All right, so now that we've run through, especially you PTs that are used to doing manual muscle tests, how much different is doing neuromuscular facilitation than manual muscle tests? Okay, you guys are the ones that have the hardest time breaking bad habits. So if we're looking at vastus lateralis, we're checking vastus lateralis for neuromuscular function. Keys are make sure that we are not in in range of motion. If we test something in in range of motion, we're going to get either active insufficiency or passive insufficiency. We want to be in mid range of motion. Make sure that our force is going in the plane that we want to be going in. So remember, vastus lateralis is a hip rotator, knee flexor, pronator, so controls pronation. So we need to take them through that plane. Make sure that our hand placement and that we have them in position before we give them the force. Okay, so we passively put them in position, then we give them a very specific force and a very specific plane to test facilitation. So now compare that to what you learned in PT school as far as manual muscle tests. 